Hello everyone, my name is Anila. In this video, you will learn about JSON file format. You will learn about JSON serialization and deserialization in Python, how to format JSON and order the result, and we'll also work with two practical examples in the end. So JSON is an open standard file data interchange format used for storing and exchanging data. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. This is what a JSON file looks like. JSON uses a human-readable text format to store and transmit data objects consisting of attribute value pairs and array data types. It supports primitive data types like strings and numbers, and as well as nested lists and objects. Python comes with a built-in package called JSON for encoding and decoding JSON data. The process of encoding JSON is called serialization, which refers to the transformation of data into a series of bytes to be stored and transmitted across a network. Decoding, or deserialization, is the reciprocal process of encoding data. In the meantime, notice the words in bold. These are keywords which you need to understand and remember. The terminology might seem a little complicated, but think of encoding as writing data to the disk and decoding as reading data into the memory. Talking about serialization, here is a table showing Python objects and their equivalent conversion to JSON. Now, as an example, assume that you have the following Python object in memory with the name data, and you need to write this in a file. So the first step is to create a file named datafile.json, and you open it in write mode. So if the file does not exist, it will automatically create this new file. And then you have to write json.dump in parentheses, data and write file. So the method dump takes two arguments. The first one is the data object to be serialized. And the second one is the file object to where bytes will be written. This is another serialization example. But before this, let's try and write some code in REPL. Okay, so first we have to import the JSON module. After this, I will create a Python object or like a dictionary. I'll name it X and I'll write, um, for example, a name for this. Like Vanessa, and then I will write the age, let's say um, 20. After this, I'll write the country. And the name, uh, the name of the country, let's just say UK, for example, and uh, city, let's write here London. And we're done with the Python object. So that a comma there. Okay, now I want to create a file, a JSON file, where I will write this data. For this, I will use the with statement. And I say open um, data file.json. I will specify the mode as write mode and as write file. Now we write json dot, we use the dump method and we specify the data and the write file. Now, if I run this, it will create a data file.json for me with the data inside the file. 
just like I specified in the Python object. Now we go back to the slides. Um, this other example, um, we create a Python object named X uh, with a name, age, and city. And then uh, you directly convert this into JSON. But in this case, we are not um, operating with files. And then the result is a JSON string. Python objects are translated from JSON according to an intuitive conversion. So we're talking now about the deserialization in Python. Note that when you convert JSON to Python, the result would be a Python dictionary. This is an example about deserialization. For deserialization, you have to use the method loads. This is another example when you have some JSON data and then you parse this data using the loads method and then the result is a Python dictionary. But let's try an example for this. I'll continue with the first example with the files. But now I want to um, open this file in the read mode this time so data file that um, is json specify the mode as read file and then we write data is equal to json dot load read file now suppose I want to print um, the full data. I have to comment this as well. Just a module here. If I run this, it will print me a Python dictionary. Suppose I want to print uh, specifically the age. For this, um, in square brackets, I specify the age. Mm like this, and if I run this, it will print 20. You can format the JSON string result to make it um, easier to read. So json.dump method has parameters to add indentation and line breaks, just like uh, in this line of code shown. In this print statement, uh, when you print this data, uh, you also take as parameter uh, the indentation, for example, for. You can also define separators. In this example, so we first import the JSON module, then we specify the Python dictionary. And then what we do is that we use a dot and a space to separate objects and a space and an equal sign and a space to separate keys from their values. And the output will be just like this. You can also order the results in JSON. So json.dump method has parameters to order the keys in the result. So we sort the keys and we set this variable to true. This is an example where we sort the result alphabetically by keys. And the output will be just like this. So this is what I had prepared for uh, you for this topic. Check my example in REPL. I will attach the link in the slides and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.